be ground and filled with minerals let's add a custom geode to world generation all right we find ourselves back in the treasure once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom geode to our world generation so this is actually a quite interesting thing because of course in i believe 180 i don't even know 118 or 119 geodes were added to the world generation basically where the amethysts spawn right so the amethysts spawn in geodes and those are actually a specific thing in world generation and we're going to add one of those geodes right now now what is going to happen is that they're going to be well it's just going to be an example of how to add a geode i will say that the geode we're going to do is is definitely not you can't just like copy that over and have it be done because it's going to be actually uh, very very strange however i basically want to show you this with crazy different blocks so that you can see how the geodes spawn so in our mod configured features i will be copying over the entire configured feature because it is um i think like 10 lines long it is very very long there's a lot of things but we're gonna go through and actually take a look at what they are and of course the code is as always available to you in the description below get up a pause to an individual just as well so you can see this is a configured feature of type geode and it takes in a geode configuration and then some geode block settings and stuff like that if we go into the geode configuration right here, you can actually see the different what the different parameters mean. We have block settings, we have the later settings, cracked settings, and then we also have the things like the uh, the placement chance, uh, at what layer, the outer wall distance, points, point setup, and all of that craziness. Now, what really interests us is actually the block settings right here. So if we go into the block settings, you can see, oh, let's do this. There you go. You can see the first one is the filling provider. Then we have the inner layer, we have an alternate inner layer, we have a middle layer, an outer layer, an inner placement, the cannot place, and the invalid blocks. So that's very interesting indeed, and we could basically see this, right? So the absolute inner thing is going to be air, so this geode is filled with air, okay, fair enough. Then we have an inner layer of deep slate, and then we can go through, right? Alternate inner layer would be a zircon ore, fair, fascinating. So this is basically the thing that would be uh, equivalent to the amethyst clusters right so we actually can do the geode let's middle mouse point click on the geode middle mouse point click here and we should find the amethyst geode and we can actually see well the different things here as you can see air is the first one then we have the amethyst block over here and the budding amethyst so this is where the amethysts come out calcite smooth basalt and so on and so forth so i do highly suggest taking a look at the amethyst geo right here because that one is well, a great place to start with this and then here all of the numbers I mean, you have so many numbers to play around with. I just highly recommend playing around with them a lot because that is really awesome indeed that um, that it gives you so many different ways of dealing with this and like changing it around. When it comes to spawning the geode, of course, we still need a place feature, which we're also going to be copying over. But once again, this is also available. So the Zircon Geode Place right here, as you can see, well, it takes first of all, of course, the configured feature. And then we're going to have an average on every 50. So this should be this should be placed uh, average of every 50 uh, different chunks in theory we're gonna have a spread over here and it's going to spawn between y level 6 and y level 50 so this is pretty much everything that we need for the geode once again you can always play around with the numbers i highly suggest doing so and well we're gonna see how crazy this looks with these different <laughs> like blocks here uh, but it's gonna be very very interesting indeed so of course, to spawn this, we still need a new bio modifier. So we're just going to copy over the zircon or modifier over here, drag it into the same folder while holding control. And this is add zircon geode. And here we simply just need to change this one right here. And that is the zircon underscore geode underscore place. And that is it. Now our geode should spawn in a new world and old ones when the world generation kicks in again. So let's go into the game, make a new world, and let's take a look at our zircon geode. All right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft, and let's see if we can find our custom geode over here somewhere. We can already, of course, see some amethyst geodes, but that is, of course, absolutely normal. Let's see. We should be able to spot them by, well, taking a look at whether or not we can see some emerald, uh, emerald blocks over here. And there we go. So we can see those are some emerald blocks. Now it is mostly made up of dirt, which is of course not quite something I had in mind. So let's just search for another one and see if that one is a little bit nicer. So there's another one right here. And that is also not quite what I had in mind. So let's just continue along 
So there we actually have a big one. This is what I was looking for. There you go. So you can see there's a bu bu bunch of dirt basically, but then also there are a bunch of zircon ores and zircon blocks over here. Absolutely amazing. And the outer shell basically is always made up of, you know, dirt and the, um, in this case, emerald blocks, which is, you know, it has a very strange effect. This is what I've said. This is definitely just for testing purposes only. I just wanted to show you how crazy it can be. You can pretty much put in any type of, well, different thing. Uh, what's also very cool is that uh, we're going to see this in a moment, but the uh, blocks over here, they always only spawn adjacent to the one block. So if we actually take a look at this, right, so the block right here, this list, they always only spawn adjacent to this particular block over here, because in theory, this particular block would always be the uh, alternate uh, inner, right? And then the placement the list right here is exactly this one right here, the inner placements, right? The inner placements, which means that they are always only placed uh, like next to those particular blocks. That's very in interesting for me. And this is basically, you know, is very interesting in my mind. This, of course, because this is the budding amethyst where the amethysts grow out of. And then the amethysts, of course, can only grow out of there. But that is a very cool thing indeed. And this way you can also make your own custom amethyst stuff that spawns, things like that. But regardless of that, it is pretty awesome indeed. So that is how you can make a custom geode in Minecraft. All right, and that concludes this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Oh, so, yeah.